Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah. Martial arts legend. Nice kid, huh? Action hero. His movies have grossed over $700 million in a career spanning over 25 years. But now, it's time to discover the real man behind the macho image. I've got nothing to hide anymore. As he allows cameras total access into his extraordinary world. <laughs> this is an intimate portrait you, of an international movie star as you have never seen him before. I don't see Sly or Steven Seagal doing that. We're up close and personal as he bears his soul. The world is going bad, you know, let's face it. Everything is dying around us. I believe the end soon. And gives us an unprecedented look into the mind of a movie legend. I pray to save the world. See? God love me. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Coming up, Jean-Claude has women falling at his feet. Oh, shit, I thought she really fell. I ain't gonna puke, right? <laughs> A doctor's appointment turns nasty. And Bianca gets set to follow in her father's footsteps. Vancouver, Canada. Up in their 41st floor apartment, Jean-Claude and wife Gladys are packing frantically as they're running late for the airport. Oh, we're getting ready to go. Uh, maybe you have an to Brussels. Back, back. Daughter Bianca has seen it all before. They're always last minute in France, and it, they always pack. Well, he always packs like an hour before, which is insane. Jean Claude has been invited to attend the first ever Belgium Film Awards, and with it being a red carpet event, he wants Gladys by his side. You know, it's the first time in years that I don't travel with him, and now we're starting to travel. <laughs> If I wasn't as fast to keep up with him, whew, I think whoever would be would have left him a long time ago. You know, you have to understand his brain, though. His brain is just the way it works. That he's really, it's not to say, but he's really, really, really smart. After decades of jetting around the world, Jean-Claude has a novel way of making sure he never forgets anything. Uh, oh, you know what? If I put banana here, he will not forget my look. I put Babala here in front of the door. That no, means that mean I need my phone, my phone. Are you serious? Why don't you put a sticky? No, that means when you see that, it's my phone. Come on. <laughs> it's a brilliant plan, so long as they stay where they are. <laughs> oh, God, he put this here just to remind him to get his phone. <laughs> so we're in... How does that have to do with the phone? That is so weird. Let's open my nose so I yeah, can I need breathe. Two of them. So I'm going to take the other one. I've got a deviation because my nose is. So I put this inside. Deviate Finally, they find something. <sighs> wow, I feel so good, man. I will be right back. I just have to go and travel with pain in the neck, okay? Ah! With the luggage packed, mobile phone included, Jean-Claude and Gladys can finally head off to the airport. Got it, perfect. I will do the rest. You see the Good job, baby, good job. I lose 20 pounds, guaranteed. It's great for if the... If you want to stay with him, you lose 20 pounds. Love you. Bye-bye, Bianca. Bye. Safe flight. Yeah. <laughs> Five thousand miles later, Jean Claude and Gladys have arrived in Brussels. This is the part I hate. Can't stand wearing makeup, but I have to, and I have to play. So I stop and go. I stop and go. Makeup on. There. It's time to get a jet lag Jean Claude ready for tonight's event. Just lift your leg for a second, Mister. Oh, so I can yes. straighten your pants, oh, so they don't. Oh, oh. Yeah, you crinkled your nice pants after I pressed them. Devil. Oh. 
In less than an hour, Jean-Claude will be presenting an award on live national television. But he'll be fine. He'll do a, like that little wake-up that he always gets, and uh, we'll be good to go. Wait, let's go, sugar plum. Sugar, huh? you have to brush your teeth now, because you ate, and you don't want to smell with bread and <coughs> carrots up your teeth, you know? You want some water first and go pee-pee. <laughs> yeah. You mean you put the toothpaste on the brush? Done, ready to rock and roll. Oh, look good, baby. Yes, and put eye drops in your eyes yeah. so you don't look sleepy. Right. And you have something up your nose. Okay. You'll see how we just turn on the charm on the camera. <laughs> A seasoned pro at red carpet events, Jean Claude thinks of every detail. Ah, uh, when you come out, right? Right. You want to stay on the uh, left side or right side of my hand? I don't know. We usually what? I was always on your right. You mean here? You always on my left. Yeah, I was always to your right. Okay. Yeah. Position sorted. The Van Dams turn on the style. With Belgium's biggest star in town, the events organizers have laid on personal bodyguards. But something seems to be cramping Jean-Claude's style. Years ago, I was so scared of the, of the uh, public. I was having two, three beers before going on stage. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I just do it, relax, you know? But look, I'm, uh, I'm an old-timer in the sense of medium old-timer. You put the best. Uh, be careful, you have to go pee, pee huh? Gentlemen, my audience. Champagne, wine, maybe you want some champagne? No, I don't drink, you know that. Want some wine? Nope. Mm. Nope. Sometimes celebrating alone uh, with my wife, under a tree. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Watching, you know, in front of us, lots of green, maybe a mini leg. When we were young. With ducks. What wah, happens wah, when we get older now? Or in the summer, with bird. <laughs> Walking together. I'm, all, I'm, I'm waiting for those days, maybe. When I'll be 50, like You're in 10 old years from now. Old and gray. Or 60, maybe. Since when I'll be 60, old? I want a cane. No, sit you down. don't want a cane. I like a cane just to the. Young, 60, no, maybe no, it's just 75. To, when you put your hands on the cane, it's a feeling of. <sighs> and then a hat, you You're know what I mean? You're old in your mind, that's the problem. I'm old in my mind. Young I'm old in my mind. Old. You have to see all those young babes in the crane, they were running after me. Yeah, I know that. That's what I'm saying. They, like, know, old, but, they like old farts. Thank you so much. And you? I didn't touch one of them, OK? As Jean-Claude heads for the stage, Gladys will be watching the live feed from the VIP room. Alors, pour remettre ce prix, je vous demande d'accueillir mon grand ami Jean-Claude Van Damme. What are you Oh, shit, I thought she really fell. If you look good enough at 50, Girls will still fall at your feet. Tu viens près de moi? Oui. Allez, viens. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs. Merci. Et le prix du public, signé télé revue, est attribué à. À, à, à. Mm -hmm. Rebelle, hein? <laughs> tu te souviens de moi ou pas? Il <laughs> n'y a pas trop longtemps, non? Il y a un an à peu près, je crois. Ouais. Non, ça, tu, tu te souviens pas? Il <laughs> y a ma femme qui s'est réveillée. Oh, Alors, c'est Benoît Pelvourde. <laughs> Depuis, c'est arrivé près de chez vous en 1992. Benoît, <laughs> Now he's really happy. <laughs> 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 <laughs
Merci beaucoup. Je voudrais partager ce prix parce que avec Jean-Claude. Bah ben voilà, c'est. Euh... Mais ne pars pas, Jean-Claude. Oh, dommage. Jean-Claude's exit off stage is a little premature. Jean-Claude's gone. He stepped right out. He didn't have to be there. C'est terminé, donc euh, on fait des bisous aux spectateurs. Now he's gonna come back. I'm cute. Oh, come on. I didn't know they were calling me back. Oh, no? No, because people maybe they clap so I can hear oh, nothing. I can't hear nothing. Yeah. Valérie, oh. at the end I didn't know I left with, uh, and they called me back, right? Yeah. I didn't know this, so I didn't hear. Mais c'est quelque chose de mal. Non, c'est pas une Il y a juste temps pour quelques autographes avant de rentrer à la maison pour dormir le jet lag. Coming up. Jean-Claude va house hunting. Je ne l'aime pas. It's a chicken cage, huh? But he's hard to please. And daughter Bianca mixes it up, Van Damme style. That's so cool. Jean-Claude has flown into LA to help son Chris and his girlfriend Ilaria look for a new home. The couple currently share a small apartment with John Claude's daughter Bianca, but Dad's concerned it's a bit crowded. My daughter has a place here, and uh, they cannot live together anymore because uh, it's normal. I mean, she's got her own life, and he's got a girlfriend, and his girlfriend, and everything is fine between them. Huh? But. Uh, if he wants to walk naked, uh, if my daughter has a boyfriend coming in, one bedroom, one shower, it's, it's, they have to do the choo-choo train for the shower. The couple can't wait to get their first apartment together. All the way to the club. Very exciting. It's a very kind gesture for my father to come down here and help me with it. I really appreciate it. But before they can even start viewing, Jean-Claude has got other priorities. Can I just hang for one second? Oh, sure. Just two seconds, it's like... Sorting out his troublesome lower back. Ah, oh, voila, that's it. Oh. Clock. Oh. Baby, a big one. Clock. My oh, I feel so good now. And Jean-Claude isn't the only one suffering with back pain. <sighs> Not easy. With vertebrae back in place, it's on with the apartment hunting. Sunset-wise, what is the best place in this building? You like this apartment? If we want to put wood floor, it's possible. With homes all over the world, Jean-Claude knows a thing or two about buying properties. The pressure, why, why the pressure is so, it's not that powerful? So, he leaves no stone unturned, nor toilet unflushed. My dad's very thorough, he thinks very detailed, he wants to put his things in proper order so he can get what he wants correctly for the best. It's a chicken cage, huh? It's not good. Working his magic, if you can want to say it that way. No, I don't like this. But I want sunset view and airport view. Disgusting. Great room. Uh, lady, is dog allowed? Yes. Good. That's cool. Hi, babies. Hey, girls. Hi, boys. That's a boy. The apartment may not have lived up to Jean-Claude's standards, but there's one thing that gets his seal of approval. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a big kiss. That's very important that dogs are allowed. Back in Vancouver, Aspiring actress Bianca is preparing for an audition for new martial arts movie, Mortal Kombat. 
the pressure is on a little bit because my dad is an iconic martial artist. This is gonna be a little nerve wracking. Not nerve wracking, but pressure. Pressurize. I can see something going wrong. I think it's cool. I used to play Mortal Kombat when I was younger, surprisingly. <laughs> Best friend Jeanette is here to offer her moral support. It was a trap. I know. <laughs> Bianca's only had movie roles alongside her father, all of which have been non-speaking parts. I was, oh God, when I was 13 or so, I was in the, the Shepherd Border Control and I, God, I OD'd. It was a horrible OD because I had to like shiver. You don't just shiver when you're ODing. And then an eagle path. Um, I had, I, my father died and I cried. <laughs> and then in a uh, weapon, I was in a coma. In Mortal Kombat, Bianca is auditioning for the role of ninja assassin Mylena. Team delivers a combination of quick punches, forcing Melina back. So Melina counts with a series of roundhouse kicks. Oh, great. The last, oh, oh God. Oh, no. Sending Katina through the air. Yeah. But she recovers and lands on her feet. Oh. I realize in everything I've done, I don't speak. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> The movie's director has sent four of the world's finest martial arts performers who boast blockbuster credits, including The Mechanic, Tron Legacy, and The Green Lantern. We're testing Bianca out so we can show the director her skills and how quickly she learns and adapts to film fighting choreography, okay? So we're gonna run through some basics, a few small drills, and we'll see how she does. I'm curious to see if it runs in the family. So let's see what them legs can do and uh, see what, what she has in those genes of hers. Right. And Tim's gonna give us a great demonstration. He's one of the best in the world. So. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's so cool. <laughs> Bianca's a trained kickboxer, but will have to adapt her moves for film choreography. Good. Now, when you throw the hook punch, keep it leveled with your shoulder. Watch my punch. Yeah. That looks like a hit every time. And jab, cross, hook, step back first. Boom, hook, step back, finish. That's it. Roundhouse, bring it back, drop, down. Okay, chamber up, kick. Back and down. Ah. It's down, I can't do it. Those legs look familiar. Okay, <laughs> not bad. Again. Good. Roundhouse. Not bad. Good. So as you pull that left, boot step. Point. Okay. Oh. That's it. That's it. Good. Step. Go. Step. Good, now you're attacking. One more time. Ready? Set. And action. Good. That was a strong one. Hey, it's a little work, huh? It's yeah. a little work. I never know what you guys go through. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good natural rhythm because some people don't advance that fast in a few minutes. And I'm being honest, okay? You need that confidence to keep growing. Watch yourself. The mirror is your best friend because what the mirror sees is what camera will see yeah. as well. The mirror doesn't lie. Good job, All sweetie. Right. Thank you so All much. All right, no problem, it was no problem. Very nice with you. Very good session. Uh, the basics are great. She has a great foundation, and once she continues to practice those, she'll continue to grow, and uh, I think she has a good career. The team are confident that she's done well, but must report back to the movie's director, who will decide whether Bianca's done enough to land the role. I really did thought that, and, you know. I thought that your kicks were really good. But I could see in your face that you just don't have the confidence, and that's all you need. And then it would be a million times. That's true. Oh, my ears. Los Angeles, California. 
Today is a rare occasion. All the Van Damme family are in town. So Jean-Claude's son, Chris, has organized a special dinner at a Chinese restaurant. I love this place, baby. What Jean-Claude doesn't know is that Chris has secretly invited martial arts movie villain, Bolo Yong. The pair met on the set of Bloodsport 25 years ago and have been firm friends ever since. Hello, how are you? What is this? Oh! <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> You're Bolo's son. You good? You surprised me. I didn't know Bolo's gonna come here. This is Bloodsport, double impact, Enter the Dragon, huge star. <laughs> and so, you know? And it really, I start karate because of that. It's amazing. Bruce Lee. And then, John Goff and then. And then, who? After John Goff and then, who is the next? Nobody. Why? Um, 24 years. Why? No next. Where the next? Nobody. Why no? In the old time, you and I were having hot tea and sitting on the apple box. Made a movie for like 15 hours sitting. It's the old time. Or I can follow and then is this one. <laughs> but Bruce Lee is. It's not long before the pair attract some fans. Hey, you want to uh, you want to be between? The... <laughs> I'll do it for my brother and do anything. <laughs> yes. That is your blood. <laughs> Literally. He's gonna freak out. I snuck him into Time Cop as a kid. Like, yeah. literally, it, I mean, I'll never forget. I snuck him in, he had the best day of his life. When he was You're the, awesome. Yeah, and I snuck in too, I was 10. <laughs> Have a good night, guys, be careful. Bye. Thank you. Have a good night. It's time for Jean-Claude to consult the fortune cookie. but not before battling it out with his old nemesis, Bolo, to decide who will open their cookie first. <laughs> oh! <laughs> One, two, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can't even break it. What is this shit? What is I don't stand this, baby? Uh, here, I'll interpret for you. A wish will be granted after a long delay. Oh, that means That's we're going to get fight. double impact. After a uh -huh. long delay, yeah. Whoa. A sequel to Double Impact would bring Jean-Claude and Bolo together once again. But what will Bolo's cookie prophesize? It doesn't look like we'll find out, as he's cunningly switched his fortune cookie message with Jean-Claude's. Same. Same. Wow. Same. Yeah. No. Same. 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 Exactly no. the same. Yeah. Same. Let me see. Read it. A wish will be granted after a long time. Oh, that's double. Double impact. Oh, my God. All right, so you guys got to no find a way to get it back. No freaking oh my way. God. Crap, that's, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Coming up, a visit to the doctors turns nasty. I ain't gonna puke, right? How are you, my boy? You're the miracle dog, you know that. Jean Claude's back in his native Belgium which is also home to his beloved dog sanctuary. Today, he's meeting his architects at their swanky showroom to discuss renovating his Desres dog chalets to the highest spec. And he's brought along his wife, Gladys, and mother, Eliana. It's very, it's very good. It should be big, because you have to remember, if they want to wash a dog, you never know. Oh. We have to think <laughs> function. Chihuahua, it goes in. Yeah, but no, we have to think function. We don't have little dogs, we have big dogs. 
It's not long before Gladys is distracted by items not meant for dogs. Actually, really cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's the drain, but the problem with this, see all this fancy schmancy stuff? How do you clean this drain? Hang on. Ah, you lift that up? Freaking bugs. Look, there's bugs. Put it back. That's easy to clean up. Ooh, ooh. Being obsessed with cleanliness, Gladys has spotted some bright white tiles for the floor. This is nice. This is nice. No, no, no. I'm anal retentive. But with the dogs in mind, Eliana has other ideas. Inside, bad weather or good weather, you clean. Yeah, but if it's if it's dark, no, no, each time. I know, but if it's dark, if it's dark, it's also dirty. For me, it's good. If it's dark, it's also dirty. This could turn out to be a long afternoon. No, seriously. Okay, cool. Your husband, your husband is one of the best decorators in the, in the world. Next port of call, the light switches. He likes ding, we ding, have, ding. Uh, shut up, uh, put uh, on, yeah. shut up. Look, this mine, I do have changed mine all because it's this shit. This has a color, green. I don't know. Shit, yeah. That's one, the dimmer, okay. and also the name. Nobody's right. It's just that we all want to put in our, you know, whatever. We all have a way of it. But I think I'm probably the most logical type. You gotta really. Yeah. No, no matter what, you're gonna have to, to have a. It seems Jean Claude's decision to bring his wife and mother has backfired. There's only one thing for it chocolate. Let's do this, because every time you do this, or if you, well, no, but if you have the cabinet closed, but you can have yours inside. Are you eating more chocolate? Huh? How many chocolates did you have? My first one. Enough, huh? Enough, huh? <laughs> they told me they're going to come here for one hour. As the day draws out, it seems there's plenty more to talk about. But Jean-Claude is having trouble hearing what's being said. You know, I use a lots of guns. In the movies? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm here. And I ne never put plug, and also I did have a few uh, car accidents, you know? Oh, oh Without the good. belt. Ah. You know, this is all the paper. So uh, <laughs> since then, when they all talk, I cannot hear well. I, uh, and when he talks uh, himself, he cannot hear. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God I have a wife who doesn't talk much. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The debate goes on well into the evening, and it's all too much, even for a Hollywood action hero. Following the admission that he has trouble hearing, Gladys and Eliana have decided it's time for Jean-Claude to have his ears tested. First, I'll take a look. Yeah. In the, in the past, did you en do any shooting with, uh, with guns or so uh, without having ear protection? I, I shot a lot of guns in movies, but I'm able to hear some Unusual sound, like if you slide a fax paper in the living room, and I'm in the. Super sensitive. I see. I can hear. Yes. Like like, like, a, like a German shepherd. Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna test this. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. When I hear, I push. Yeah. So that Doctor Votes can discover whether 25 years of action movies have taken their toll, Jean Claude's reactions are tested across a range of frequencies. Right ears worse than the... A little bit, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a difference in the hearing in the high levels, in high frequencies between the both sides. Which means if many people if many people are talking together, when you're on a restaurant or in a group, or, uh, it's quite difficult for you to understand someone's speaking. Correct. You, you, hear, you hear, but you can't... Understand. And that's why I'm upset when they all talk yeah, to you. Yeah, this, yeah. That, that's, that's the problem when there's a high frequency hearing loss. What you can do is not make it worse. So use ear protection when you go out in. in, in More visually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I understand. That's why she cannot talk to you anymore. One by one, guys. Because you talk, yeah? Shush. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
As well as hearing troubles, Jean-Claude suffers with his breathing due to a deviated septum he's had since childhood. What is it for my nose? Yes, indeed. It's a camera. It's just a camera. I ain't gonna puke, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fine. Yeah, you're doing fine. Wow. But the sur and the surface of the inferior concha is eroded, and that could be improved with a with a little surgery, a little surgery. Did they just cut and open it like this? No, 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 no. No? No. I don't want to give you a nose job. No, I'm not intending to change the the outlook of your nose. Whilst John Claude yeah. contemplates nose surgery. Dr. Votes has a temporary solution. Hold your breath. You switch to the other side. And it will be flushing out to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then you sniff oh, out. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so. Twice daily. Okay. okay. It's go from one to the other. From to the other. Yeah. Like yeah. the ear yeah. from one to the other. Okay. Yeah. You heard what you said? Yeah, that's it. All right. Voila. Uwe, would you keep it? I heard it from. Yeah. yeah. Back at his hotel, Jean-Claude's checking out his new nose bath. Water, water. I have hot water. No, don't put it in That's sugar. Wait a minute, I have hot water. You want hot water? <laughs> Baby, come here. We don't you have... No, I have something else in the meantime. I should come. But it appears he's got his own methods. Yeah. It's not painful. It's not surgery, I'm afraid. I don't like to sleep. I may never come back. No, stop it. <laughs> Why do you think that way? Look, Bianca did it. Because when I was young... For the deviated septum. When I was young, they used uh, ether, chlor chlorophyll. Yeah, and then? Then I wake up in the middle of a surgery. Oh, that's what... Oh, good. And then uh, they put me back, they hold my hands. You know, I was very young, but very scared. So when you're scared, you're very strong. How old are you? I didn't know that. Uh, right? 11, 12. Well, but what was the surgery for? Uh, here, appendix. Oh, the appendicitis? See, oh, did it yeah. perfect, huh? <laughs> Maybe if you break my nose, it will help the breathing, no? Oh. What? <laughs> oh. The next morning, Jean-Claude and Gladys have a business meeting. But not before they catch some rays. I'm basking in the sun. Oh, look at the Papnea. Looks like snowy from Tintin. Look. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Where's the car, Antoine, I guess? He made him way too much. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, wrong. And when the Muscles is back in Brussels, Getting around takes twice as long. Good. Thank you. OK. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Let's go. We don't need your phone now. Ça va? Tu te rappelles de moi ou pas? Oui, oui. Salut, les deux. Oui, ça va? OK. En forme, bien. Tu as fait un très, très bon travail là-dedans. Merci, He was in the movie JCBD. Yeah. In the video store, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, les Arabes, les ceci, les troulets. C'est un très bon acteur. With his superstar status, Jean-Claude is about to join an elite club. Celebrities such as David Beckham, Dr. Dre and Britney Spears all have one thing in common, their own branded merchandise. This is your office, huh? Ça va? Enchanté. Today, Jean-Claude is inspecting his very own range of watches. Enchanté tout le monde. Oh, very nice. Let's see, every day, every He's also considering launching his own clothing range. I like it. Yeah, we work with the textiles. Okay. Cool. And his favorite, a skin tight muscle vest. Oh, my jean, I cannot. Uh, <laughs> jean Claude Van Damme. Wham. Yep. Look, right away it goes. Shook. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and in Belgium, they put it like this. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unable to contain his excitement, and, uh, he decides to take a few souvenirs with him. Like for guys like Steven Seagal or, you know, <laughs> I'm joking. 
everybody in. No, I'm about to watch. Bye. Bye. Remind him. Bye-bye, baby. <laughs>Coming up, Jean-Claude returns to his karate master. And things turn a little rough. In Brussels, Jean-Claude and Gladys are hitting the gym. Notice he's not carrying heavy weights, he's very lightweight because he's focusing on the interior to work later exterior. But the mind also, he's working his mind also focusing on the fight. Having recently turned 50, Jean-Claude has set himself an extraordinary challenge. It's been 30 years since he last fought competitively and now he wants to make a comeback in the ring. His opponent, is Olympic boxing gold medalist and Mai Tai fighter, Samrook Kam Singh, 13 years his junior. His training is gonna be amazing. I think you'll be quite impressed, but his training has to be different than when he was young, being that he is 50. Because of his mental strength, that gift that he has, um, I don't think the fans will be let down at all. He's quiet like that. That's when you have to be careful. When he uh, doesn't say much, you're, you wonder what's going on in his head. Jean-Claude has been working and playing hard around the world, but he feels it's now time to put an end to the jet-set lifestyle. When I was traveling with you, I was uh, feeling the goodies again, the, the alcohol. But this was my trip around the world 20 times. I did it one more time with you and I'm tired and I'm gonna go to train. But I think I fuck up some of my health with you guys. Jean-Claude's paying a visit to his trainer, Claude Goetz. The man who first turned him into the muscles from Brussels. Claude took Jean-Claude under his wing from the age of 11, so this is a trip down memory lane. And then, uh, one day I was into uh, an epiphany, an epiphany un peu. And I called Claude and I said, Claude, I'm going to come to your house, I'm going to run. And he said, parfait, huh? perfect. <laughs> so I, I ran, I didn't know. I wanted to impress my teacher, so I didn't know exactly the timing. I left in the morning. And I came like five o'clock or I don't know what time I came and I ran on the side of the freeway. J'ai couru sur le côté de la freeway, je ne savais pas le chemin. And I come here, I'm like I'm completely tired. And you go, I go and I go to the garage, you say, put this on. Like an outfit, very thick, with like being gloves. like gloves and all over the place, like a gloves all over the And on my head too. And he said, run some more, I'm going to let my, lo my dog go after you. So I ran, I ran, and I see this big, huge German Shepherd. He took me there, and he just go, oh. <laughs> like Bruce Lee movie. My, my, I was, shh, and he, rah, he jeté, remember? So that's how he trained his... Among the vitesse. Yeah. I was missing speed. <laughs> Before they get down to fight talk, Jean-Claude has some news for his karate master. En plus, Il me veut pour euh, expand le deux. Attention, tu me donnes, tu me donnes, tu me donnes quatre mois comprimés. Mais tu viens. Tu vas te ouais, mais... à mort. Et dans mes quatre mois comprimés, tu me dis, oh, je prendrai bien une quinzaine de jours pour Stallone. No, listen to me. When you're on the set, the time that you've left for a break. Listen to me. No, listen to me. <laughs> J'attends le script. Il faut qu'on ait effectivement une sérénité, okay, c'est ouais. évident. Par contre, une fois qu'on aura commencé l'entraînement, que j'aurai coupé ta, ta radio et ton téléphone, et que tu vas aller sur le ring et que tu vas gagner, là, mon vieux, d'abord, un, pour toi, c'est magnifique, mais là, ça y est, ça y est, t'es nouveau numéro un, là. 
For Jean-Claude to win, it's going to be as much about his mind as it is his body. Jean-Claude travaille beaucoup, a beaucoup d'ennuis, beaucoup de, de soucis de la vie. Et pour le combat, il faut enlever tout. Le train Ça va être terrible maintenant. Tu vas aller à l'intérieur, là. Voilà. et puis le combat. Dans lui, c'est qu'il faut tenir l'entraînement. Et quand il va exploser, ça va être une bombe atomique. We got the train being a killer. Damn! I will knock him out. I will not lose this fight. I'm a champion, 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 champion. Over the past five months. Jean-Claude has allowed cameras to follow him around the world and film his extraordinary life. He's opened the doors to reveal what it's really like to be a Hollywood superstar. At times, life behind the glamour has been hard. I'm tired. I want some rest. And his emotions have run deep. It's not good, man. It's not fucking... It's bad. We have to try to do something to save this place. The strain of living under the spotlight has pushed him over the edge. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like a monkey in the zoo, you know? Hey, cut the camera! Cut the camera! Enough, enough! You look like that! Of course I'm like that! Sometimes you're gonna like me and sometimes you're gonna hate me. But uh, what can I do? I'm up and down, guys. And the jet set lifestyle has left him alone and desperately missing his family. My fat ass. You have a fat ass, you have a nice ass. No. <laughs> yeah. But in his roller coaster world, Jean Claude has also enjoyed the good times. Look at this, it looks so funny. He didn't touch my trailer. I said, I hope it's not my son. <laughs> Always good for the eyes and the mouth. Man. He's admired everywhere he goes, with friends throughout the world. Wow. It's nice like this, huh? But the happiest moments have been with those he loves, his wife and family. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And not to forget his beloved dogs. Oh! <laughs> I told you you're gonna see freedom. They're fast. I love you guys. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs>